Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello family. So today we're going to be making this incredible plant-based milk using one of Ghana's underrated seeds. Yes. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. And the underrated seeds in question are the rare, rare seeds. Naturally, they're nutty and also have the slight bitter taste. So number one, what we're going to do is get rid of that bitter taste. So here I've just got my rare, rare seeds. I've placed that in my tray thing going on here. You can just use your normal bowl. This is just me doing it here. And of course, I've added some water. What I'm going to do next is make sure that I mix everything until it's well combined. And then the next ingredient I'm going to add to this is salt. Yes, because salt will get rid of that bitterness. Not entirely. There'll be a little bit. But then when you try this recipe, I'm just going to be mixing with some shenanigans and you'd have the perfect rare, rare milk, which is lovely and sweet. So once that has soaked... I washed it till, I'll say two or three times just to make sure that I've got rid of the salt. Now, don't worry, I'll leave the measurements in the description box below. Next thing is I need to toast this. We need to cook this, yes. So at 100 degrees, I've placed it on my baking tray, preheated the oven to 100 degrees, and I'm just going to toast it for an hour. Yes, just quietly, beautifully, and it cooks through and through. So once that is done, I then take it out, allow it to cool down, and then I soak it again. Now this time when I soak it, it's only for an hour. I discard the water and then add some fresh water. Now to sweeten this, I'll be using dates. You can use maple syrup, honey, if that's what you've got, or sugar. Yes. And then I'd also be adding some ginger to it. Absolutely because especially when you enjoy this first thing in the morning. Mwah, mwah. So to my blender, I'm going to be adding all the ingredients that I've mentioned here into the blender with the water and blend it. And now I need to strain it. It is interesting, you know, while straining this, to see how fibrous the seeds are. And it is at this point that I would like you all to suggest, what do you think we can do with the, you know, fiber, the flour? Like, if we dry it, leave your comments below. Yes. Because this channel is really about taking most of our ingredients that are underrated um, and then see what other creative ways we can use that? And that subsequently adds value to everything that we do. So when I made this recipe a year ago, I just used the rare, rare, the dates and the ginger and it was equally great. However, this year, I then added some cashew nuts. Yes, because I love the flavor of cashew nuts. Cashew nuts have this natural sweetness to it, especially when they're toasted. Yes, and it just allows this to be creamier than normal. Absolutely. And it masks any sort of bitter flavor. You're not going to get that at all. No, you're just going to enjoy your rare, rare milk that is now infused with a little bit of cashew nuts. Yes. Now, as I mentioned, you can omit the cashew nuts, not a problem, but being a creative, you know, I'll throw the challenge to you all. What else would you like to add to your rare, rare sweet milk? Yes, I know. Now, if you do know any rare, rare sellers, please let them watch this video, you know, because that's the only way I can give back to our community as well, by creating... Um, things like this. I mean, it's taken almost a year. So this is something of great value to me that, of course, I everything that I give to you guys is of great value. But yes, you know, this would help someone create a new business, you know, to add more value to what they're already doing. Um, B, as well, you know, it's a nutritious drink that, you know, we should include that in our daily diets, considering we have the ingredients back in Ghana. And, you know, it's rich in potassium, it's got zinc, magnesium. It's something that we need 
to enjoy. And it's plant-based anyway. So once I've strained it, you know, I then transfer that into my jug. I seal the jug and I refrigerate it. Now, there are two things. It does not last for too long. So I think you have to consume this within three days because that's the whole point of the test. Next thing is I froze it as well and defrosted it to then enjoy. It was okay because I, I froze it for about, what, three months, may I say, because I have to test for all of this. And it was still good. But of course, I mean, it's best when you just make it fresh, have it refrigerated and just consume it that day. Yeah, make another one and another one. It's not a big challenge, really. But if you would also like it to, you know, last for about three to five days, you can add a little pinch of salt because, of course, salt in itself is a preservative. Now, remember I mentioned that um, when I made it the first time, I had difficulty in squeezing the milk. This is it. That's the evidence of it. So, yes. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys have definitely enjoyed this video. You've learned a thing or two about our rare, rare seeds. And it's not only for our soup. We can enjoy it in our cereals as well. Let this go viral. Share with your family and friends. Don't keep this to yourself. Invite them over, you know, because this is a recipe that I think holds a lot of value. And if you do like what you see and you've enjoyed what you've seen today, please don't forget to like the video, leave a comment below. And if you've got any questions as well, please do so. As I mentioned, I'll leave the list of ingredients in the description box. And yes, you can also find creative recipes on my other blog, fafagilbert.com. Now, I'm happy to also announce or to, you know, if you don't already know, I have my online grocery shop where it's artisanal products because I just use my hands in making everything from scratch. Absolutely. So there's no artificial flavors. They're all natural premium ingredients and flavor is what's heightened in these products. They all come gift wrapped. So if you're thinking of gifting someone at Christmas, yes, do check our website out. Or, you know, just to say thank you. Or even to treat yourself, which is the most important part. Don't forget to log on to buyindudu.com. Now, do subscribe, leave your comments, share the video. And also you find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and Snapchat as Indudu by Fafa. So pass by and say hi. Noral, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next video with you kings and queens and beautiful people. Number one, thank you very much for gracing me with your presence. Take care of you. Be nice, be beautiful, be gorgeous. And you know what? It's just cool to be cool. So be cool. Me, I love you for you.